Okay, let's talk about the Murdoch water cooler. As I said in the introduction to Acorn University, we're going to talk about different segments of the different divisions because each division has multiple products inside that division. Now, in the case of Murdoch, we're going to talk about indoor drinking fountains, outdoor drinking fountains, water coolers, bottle fillers, all myriad of things that you would have so that you could get a drink of water out of them. The water cooler typically is done indoors. Now, remember, a water cooler is about chilled water. A drinking fountain does not have a chiller with it. So we're talking about something that has actually chilled water inside. What makes our water coolers so unique in the marketplace? Well, our competition in many ways has had three buttons in the past, multiple buttons. We don't need multiple buttons. Ours are set up for a single push button activation. And the button, of course, is antimicrobial, as is the flexible bubbler. We do have different models, obviously, with different push buttons, stainless bubblers, but one thing in common, our units are very, very heavy duty. We offer a metal apron. We offer a metal skirt. The competition typically uses plastic, which unfortunately also has to have that removed before you can get to the skirt to take things apart for serviceability. The Murdoch water cooler is also set up to be extremely efficient. We do have the IATMO green label, which means 0.3 gallons per minute out of the bubbler, and also a, a uh, compressor that is set up in such a manner that it is highly efficient. So we have that IATMO green label. In order to service this product, we ran into a situation when we were designing that we found out that you know most electric water coolers only work when they're plugged in. We learned that in a national disaster, typically a tornado or say a, uh, a flood or hurricane, think of Hurricane Katrina many years ago in New Orleans, and everyone ran to the Superdome. Well, the difficulty there was they had no electricity, so of course they had sensor-operated faucets, they had sensor-operated toilets and urinals and wash fountains and everything else, and guess what? The electric water cooler, although it was connected to the water supply, since they had no power, you couldn't get water out of the cooler because the piezoelectric switches had no juice. So we decided, let's make it simple. Let's make it a maintenance advantage for you, okay? You, the end user. You, the owner of the building. You, the maintenance person who has to take care of it. So let's make this very simple. Even if you unplug our unit, you can still get water out of it by pushing one single button. You don't need multiple buttons. ADA says frontal access. We don't have any electronics in this thing. We don't have a lot of black boxes. We don't have a lot of wiring. We make a very simple, easy to understand water cooler. In addition to that, the maintenance person loves this water cooler because you can access the operation and the mechanism of the push button without taking the deck off, without dropping the shroud, without trying to reach in there and turn the water supply off. You don't have to do that with our product. It's very simple and we made it that way because it's a water cooler. It is not a rocket to the moon. So how do we service the Murdoch Maintenance Advantage cooler? Remember I said earlier how simple this cooler is to take apart. Well, guess what? You don't have to take it apart to service it. No longer do you have to remove the deck and all the screws and get cut up with a stainless trying to reach down there and turn the water supply off. Our unit is set up that you can do everything external. One push button, one place. You take the tool that we provide with each one water cooler, and of course, if you don't have this handy dandy tool, you can use a pair of needle nose pliers. But you simply take this tool and remove the strainer directly from underneath the area here, what we call the apron. And it's set up in such a manner that you can access it very easily. When you pull the strainer apart, you can check for debris in the line, and of course there probably will be some debris in the line if it's been installed there for a, a six months or a year. Pull that out, and when you've done that, now you shut the water supply off. Now there's no water with a push button. Nothing's going to come out of the bubbler. So guess what? You shut the water supply off. You take that same tool that we provide, insert the tool through the diamond, push in, compress the cartridge, and pop out. And when you pop it out, this also sits up by the strainer, and now you've accessed the cartridge. So you take that same tool or a pair of needle nose pliers and you can spin the cartridge retaining ring out very easily. When the cartridge retaining ring comes out, there's the cartridge. That's the entire part and operation of this Murdoch Maintenance Advantage cooler. Now this cartridge could have gone wrong for different various reasons. Maybe it's age, maybe it's debris that got through here and got into the line. Maybe something happened to it and it just was worn out. So simply go get another cartridge from your wholesaler, your rep, or you might even have one in, in your desk drawer. You'll find that this cartridge also works on the Murdoch outdoor units. You put the new cartridge back in, simply reverse the process with the retaining ring, tighten the retaining ring down, and you tighten it so it seats itself. You want to hear it just a little go snug down just like that. Don't take it too far because you don't want to strip any threads out. Now you've got the new cartridge in here. Make sure it works very well. Push on the 
spring retaining ring. Then you take the strainer, thread it back in. Now the water supply starts again to the cartridge. So now you've got water again. Now what I would recommend doing at this point in time, since this is right in front of the cooler, you can take your screwdriver, slot a screwdriver or your fingernail and go righty tighty, lefty loosey. Turn it to the right and the stream height is higher. Turn it to the left and the stream height is lower. The reason I point that out is because ADA standards are within three inches of the rim of the bowl and also a four inch height. You simply take the antimicrobial push button, snap it back on in place, and you're done. For some reason, if you're out there and you find that the stream, even when you push the button in, when you walk by the cooler a couple days later, you don't even have to take the button apart. You take your slotted small screwdriver and turn the screw up or down to adjust the height of the stream. And that is as simple as it gets to take care of a water cooler. One of the big kicks that people forget is that you have to read the instructions. We do provide the instructions every time. It's in the box. Promise me. I know men throw stuff away. We throw the box away and we throw the cartridge away because, or throw the instructions away because we don't need it. But guess what? You got to read the instructions. You have to flush the supply line correctly. Make sure there's no debris in the water. Make sure there's nothing in the water before you connect it to this unit because that's what typically will take down any plumbing device that we manufacture is debris in the water supply line. So make sure that you flush that supply line very well. Make sure you read the instructions too. And, of course, we have everything tied to field service. All the numbers are here. All the serial numbers are here. Remember, we like a nice, flexible bubbler so no child loses his front tooth <laughs> in school when somebody gets pushed from behind. And we make sure that we make a very heavy-duty quality product. Again, this is called the Murdoch Maintenance Advantage Cooler for the reasons I just showed you. And, again, it's simple, it's easy, and the maintenance person can take care of it.